2012 Honda Accord. Customer complaint uh, is that AC is not working. Came from another shop. They scanned the car and uh, they replaced a high pressure sensor based off of the codes, which they did, and AC is still not working. So they called us, they asked us if we can look at it. I said, sure, we can look at it. So here we are. So I already scanned the code. Got the code P0533, AC pressure sensor voltage high. Uh, AC is indeed not working. Let's go to the car and I'll show you. Okay, so the car is running, as you can hear. But if you look further down, Let's see if I can focus my camera there. The AC compressor is not coming out. And AC is commanded on, but the, the compressor is failing to come on. So, based off the code, since it's a voltage high circuit, there's something wrong with electrically, not, not the sensor performance. It's uh, there's something new with electrical circuit. So let's go to wiring diagram and I'll show you what the wire wires look like. So this is the this is the AC pressure sensor and uh, goes to uh, ACM. So yellow is our five voltage reference wire blue is our signal wire and the black is our sensor ground all three wires go to pcm so we need to measure voltage on yellow wire see what we're getting we gotta check the ground and then if we have good reference voltage then we should see something on our blue wire as well and then we'll uh, test the ground as well so let's go back to the car and uh, let's test these wires okay so here's the setup so it's my voltmeter, the voltage. Black lead is going to the ground. Let me focus on it. Okay. So black to the ground. And then uh, the red lead is gonna go and I'm in a, on a yellow wire right here. A back probe there with a the T10. So I should have five volts. But I'm not getting anything. So that tells me what, either the broken wire or PCM, or the uh, PCM is failing to send five volt reference voltage to the center. So, and then uh, let's look for the, since we are here, we'll check our blue wire as well too. And my blue wire is a, I already put the, the piercing tool right there, it's in a blue wire. So let's check the voltage on the blue wire. It should have something. Actually, we're not gonna see anything because the reference voltage is no longer there. So let's see what we get anyways. Okay. Again, lead is on the negative and my volt reading meter is not reading anything. So we have no voltage whatsoever. So let's go by PCN and check the voltage on the yellow wire and the blue wire see if, the, uh, if anything is uh, coming out of PCM okay so here's the PCM right there it's, you gotta take the battery out of there and uh, take the air valve box out of there and uh, yeah PCM is bolted on over here you take the bolts out and there goes PCM alright so my my red piercing tool is on the blue wire and my black piercing tool is on the yellow wire from PCM. So let's see if PCM sending out any voltage to the wire. So black lead to the volt meter ground and uh, and the red will put on the center. So let's do the let's see. Should have five volts and indeed we do have five volts so pcm is sending out voltage on the yellow wire but why is voltage not making all over there it's got to be a broken wire so let's check the blue wire as well since we have since we are here 
So again, the black one is on the blue wire and we'll see if PCM sending out anything. And indeed PCM is. So what does that tell us? We might have two broken wires. What are the odds of that? So let's see. And um, as far as the ground goes, we do have good ground so we can check the ground as well. So let's do that since we are here. Okay, so we are, we are at the center ground. My black lead is on the center ground. Let's see if I can put my light there. Ah, uh, kind of hard to see. Anyways, so my black lead, it is on the center ground right there. All right. And my red lead is battery positive and we're getting battery voltage which is good so we have good power uh, we have good ground making it all the way to the center but we have we are not seeing any voltages on yellow and blue wire so let's look for the broken wire see where we find it okay so before chasing broken wires what i did i i put my own jumper wires there to the center to see just to see if the system is working and which it is actually now if you look further down my AC compressor is working it's spinning with the the clutch is engaged and uh, I sure have cold line here and you should have cold air blown into the vents yep indeed we have cold air all right so I'll show you what I did so the blue blue wire is my black wire that's a jumper lead goes all the way here to my blue wire on that sensor that's the sensor signal wire my yellow is my red jumper lead that goes all the way here to the PCM over right over here and it sure is making it all the way there and indeed the the system is working as designed so let's look for the broken wire see where we find it Okay, so I uh, found the broken wire. So best locations to look for wires where wires do uh, the wire loom bend down and uh, any heated heating area or any vibration, like any area that, that, that wires are bending down. Maybe uh, rubbing against the uh, frames and stuff like that. So these are the areas we want to look for. Uh, in this area by the PCM side of it I didn't see anything but if I follow along I did find the broken wires actually so the sensor is right there and then the wire loom goes from here and goes right behind the radiator let's see behind the radiator um where's the loom at okay just so the wire uh, loom is zip tied against this this uh, this frame right here. Anyway, so I got my uh, borescope camera to show you guys where I found the wire. So the broken wires. So the the wire the sensor wires goes from here and goes this way, and then routes it that way. This way along all the way to there to the PCM so I'm not sure if my camera is gonna pick it up or not but here let's see if I can set that up okay so this is a yellow wire and it is broken and if you look further down that's a blue wire so both wires are broken let me see if I can oh ah, missed it okay let me see if I can yep there you go that's a broken yellow wire right there that you guys looking at and the wire behind it it's a blue wire and that is broken indeed so yellow and blue we're gonna fix it and car should be good to go uh looks like car was in an accident things are broken so maybe something happened looks like car's been painted as well so i think accident causes wires to break nothing else 
Anyways, so we'll fix it and car should be good to go. All right, hope it helps someone else out there. Uh, before we go, so 2012 Honda Core P0533. Under data page, if you are a shop and you're looking for uh, clues, go on the PCM data page, look for AC pressure sensor reading. If it's 500 PSI close to it, then suspect a broken wire. A uh, yellow, again, yellow is five volt reference. Blue should vary voltage between 0.3 to three and a half, depends on the pressure. And then black is ground. Yellow wire color, that's PCM A20, pin number and pin number one on the sensor. Blue A17 on PCM, pin number two on the sensor. So that that is for people who try and do it themselves or the shop. Anyways, yeah, hope, hopefully that helps someone else out there. All right, that's it.